so welcome back to this channel IB my classes today in this video session I'll be discussing a very important trick so I'll be deleting a table um, without first deleting the dependence on those tables so there is a scenario here uh, suppose we have created a table in library one and someone has created some views or LFs in QTemp in his own session on that particular file present in library one now i just want to delete that file so how can i do that because we usually face this issue that we are unable to delete that file because there are some lfs or views pointing to that physical file in some other sessions so how can we achieve that so let's just discuss that str sql so this is session a so i am creating a table using create table so table name is test tbl1 in library ibmi class 1 field is fld1 care of type character say length 10 now I'm pressing enter so this table has been created successfully now i'm creating a view over this create view qtemp dot test view one as select star from IBMI class one slash test tbl one so now the view has also created now just do this pdbr on that table IBMI class one slash test tbl one class one so we can see that there is one dependent view over this which is present in qtemp library of this session so well, I'm doing work object qtemp slash test view one yeah sure now I'm just coming to session B here what I'm doing I'm doing work object qtemp slash star all so there is no view at all in this session now I'm doing DSP DBR on that file IBMI class 1 slash test TB L1 so I can see that there is one view present uh, over this table so now if I would be deleting so work object here I'll be deleting it by 4 so I'm getting the error cannot delete file or member of file test table 1 in IBMI class 1 so how can I delete this so even this error I be, I'll be getting this error in clear lib also so if I'm doing clear lib IBMI class 1 then I'm also getting this error so how can I delete that delete this table without having to delete that view presenting QTEM in session hey so I don't know which user has opened the session A so I just want to delete this so what I'm doing from session B just go to str SQL use drop table then IBMI class 1 slash that table name test table one and then cascade so i'm deleting task using cascade so what it does it deletes all its dependent directly dependent or indirectly dependent files lfs views over that table so or you can say the referential integrity or of those tables so whatever the dependent files on the those tables that will be automatically deleted using this command so if i take f4 so i can see that there is an option drop option and having two values cascade and district so by default i'm using cascade so if i come out if i'm not writing cascade here but i need to write that in code because in coding in our programming uh, that doesn't support for this f4 functionality and that does not take by default as cascade so i'm using cascade here so drop table this using cascade 
आई बी एम आई क्लास वन टेस्ट ओके पी बी एल वन आई रिटर्न दी रॉन्ग नेम ड्रॉप ऑफ टेबल टेस्ट टेबल वन इन आई बी एम आई क्लास वन कंप्लीट do this p job block here then shift f6 dependent file this in library qtem deleted so this is the thing which i want to show you if i do work object here so i cannot see the object so if i go here if i do work of the qtem so it this command or this statement sql statement has deleted all the views dependent over that table so in case in future if anyone is facing such type of issues that some files in qtemp are pointing to your like file in your library and you want to delete those qtemp files or your object just use this command so you can achieve that without having to search for that uh, session that who has opened the session don't uh, need to mat need to think about that so that's all in this video and i think this is a very useful trick for everyone of us even including me so thanks and have a nice time